I found a few ingredients in my refrigerator and gave me the idea to make something delicious. Stay tuned so you can see what I will be cooking next. Welcome to my Kitchen Intuition. My name is Marita Lynn and it's an honor to have you here today in another episode and another delicious recipe. Today I'm cooking a dish that is made of good carbs. Everybody talks about bad carbs, good carbs, whatever. So um, I got these veggies in my fridge and I decided to make a stew. Something simple, nothing that is like out of the way. I cut up some veggies and I got a very few ingredients. So I decided to cook this easy, delicious and quick dish. It's a veggie stew. And of course, I'm going to add my Peruvian flair to it, an ingredient that it is amazing. It will give it a good flavor. So let's just start with the dish. I have my pan here already heating on a medium heat, as you can see. And I'm going to add some olive oil to it. Great. And then I'm going to do my sofrito just to give a flavor. I'm going to add some onions. I'm gonna let the onions sweat a little bit before I add some chopped garlic. So we got the onions cooking here. We're gonna let them sweat, not getting burned, but let them sweat so all the flavors come out when we cook them. We're just gonna let it be for a couple of minutes and then we are going to add our garlic. Our onions are cooked. They are soft and they are already all sweat and all the flavors are out. So we're going to add some chopped garlic to it. I lower the heat of the pan a little bit so the onions don't burn because once they burn, it totally changes the flavor. So I lower the heat just so everything is cooking. It's going to cook consistently. So we added the garlic. We're gonna let uh, that aroma and flavors come out. And then we're going to add the Peruvian flair, the Peruvian touch, which I have some uh, aji panca pepper here. We, it's about a tablespoon that I add in. This is gonna give the dish a, a smoky flavor. And it's gonna be like really, really um, delicious and also good for you. So we're going to stir and we're gonna make sure that all the ingredients are mixed together. I got some uh, spices here. I got some uh, cumin and I also got some paprika or paprika and we're going to add that for more flavor and also to add that into that smokiness that this dish is going to have. So I'm mixing everything together. Uh, it's smelling so good. It's very hearty and um, it is very comforting, healthy dish that is also anti-inflammatory. These ingredients are delicious, but also so good for us. It has so many antioxidants. It's uh, high with uh, dense nutrients, which, which is, this is what our body needs to actually feel good and heal and be healthy. Uh, we're eating here. We are making a meal that is actually wholesome because it's not only going to have good flavor, but it's also going to be good for you. So I just added some crushed tomatoes that I had in my fridge also that are delicious. And oh my God, I just can smell this, it's so good. It looks really, really good, it started looking really good. So I'm going to add some salt to add into the flavor, not a lot because since these are fresh ingredients and they were bought local, uh, I'm sure they have a lot of flavor already. So when you buy ingredients that are good, that are local, that are fresh, you don't need to add that many, that much salt or you know some other additions like uh, chemical stuff, uh, spices or whatever that are going to add into the flavor. When you buy great ingredients, it's so easy to cook. So we're going to add our veggies. Here I got a mixture of eggplant, zucchini, all kinds of peppers. I got yellow squash, I got turnips. So everything that I found in my fridge, I opened the drawers and I'm like, okay, this, this, and this. So we're going to add these veggies and um, just slowly, so everything, making sure that everything fits here. And let's see. So 
So this looks really good. It looks like, you know, it's like a rainbow of colors. Like, uh, I don't have any carrots here, but you can add carrots or any other ingredients you might find in your fridge and just make this deliciousness. So I got some uh, vegetable stock we're going to add to it. And then we're just gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I cover my pot just to make sure that the veggies are cooked evenly. And let's see how it goes. 15 minutes have passed. So let's take a look. Wow. The smell is just so good. All that mixture of the veggies and the spices that I add to that and the Peruvian ajipanca pepper. It just gives them that smoky flavor. So this is almost ready. I'm going to add a little bit more of salt and pepper and we will be ready to go. As you can see, this is a very simple dish with ingredients that are in your fridge. You might have them there sitting there forever and might be scared of what to do with it or might think that this is, will just create something boring, but this is really fun, beautiful looking dish that is actually great for you. So it's a winner. Everywhere you see it, it's just a winner. It's looking so good. It's really, I want to taste right now and see how are the flavors going. If you want, you can add some herbs. Actually, I think I have some thyme in the refrigerator. So since this is not fully cooked yet, I'm going to add the thyme because I know that flavor is just so nice and it will be a great addition for this. So let's taste it because you know, uh, to really get a good dish, you have to taste. Uh, doesn't matter what you, some other things you've heard in the past, tasting the food is the way to go. Mmm, it's really good. I got a couple of sprigs of thyme, and since I just tasted, I know it needs a little bit more of salt, so I'm going to add that. Maybe some pepper too. I think this will be enough because the flavor of the veggies are like really good. And we're going to add some pepper. Okay, great. And we're going to mix it all up and let the veggies cook a little bit more with the flavor of the thyme and just incorporating all together a little bit longer, maybe not that long, I will say five minutes and then we'll be all ready to go. So this is ready to serve. I'm going to shut my stove off just because I like my veggies to be a little bit al dente. So I'm going to put it in my bowl and then I'm going to eat. <laughs> this is looking so good. It's just so hearty. Here it is. And I'm going to, it's really hot, but I'm going to, going to attempt to try a little bit. Mm, so good. This is so good. I will highly recommend it. I have the recipe, the full recipe for this with some additional ingredients on my website, mykitchenintuition.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Marita Lane with My Kitchen Intuition. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, share to people that would love to see this recipe, and like, and I am welcoming your comments. Thank you so much for being here. Until the next episode.